And welcome to Universe Sandbox 2 on this warm summer, uh, summer, summer day, unless you're of course below the equator, in which case I'm sorry that it's cold because it's very nice outside right now. I actually got woken up by um the sound of birds chirping rather lar uh, loudly. I can't talk because it's the morning. You're gonna have to excuse me for that. <laughs> but we do have Earth uh, ready to be destroyed in several ways, and we're gonna do some creative things here. But we're going to start out messing around with the Rosh limit because everyone seems to really like the Rosh limit. Like seriously, it was a great addition, and um. Yeah, I'm probably also tired because my work on uh, my game Voxel Space recently, I've been trying to meet the player model, and I'm not exactly the best 3D model design- well, I can design the 3D model, but wrapping a UV texture to it may be the most annoying and complicated thing in the world. But as you can see, we're flinging the moon around Earth essentially destroying the moon in the process except it didn't actually uh, hit earth I thought it was going to get really close and then actually hit it so we're going to retry that a little bit closer this time let's turn off trails because in labels we know what we're working with here here we go this is going to be a nice grazing shot. And it looks like we're going to hit right off the coast of India. And we have actually hit off the coast of India. And now we're just going to wrap around leaving this ginormous crater scraping across Earth. And it's finally going all the way in. But look at that, how the particles go out when you do a grazing shot. They shoot out in the exact direction you expect them to. You know, I, I just had to cancel a virus skin because I was getting a little bit laggy. Um, but look at that, Earth destroyed. And let's see the uh, mark that's left over after Earth heat, uh, not heats up. It's pretty hot already. Once Earth cools back down. Come on, Earth. I believe in you, Earth. Oh, I've gotten a message. I'm going to make a US2 vid. Yay, people stealing my views. <laughs> I don't care. I got lucky. <laughs> so we can see where the grazing shot started here off the east coast of Africa. And I would try to name a few countries I destroyed, but I'm very afraid I'm going to get them wrong. Sorry, history teacher. We, we did the Africa country uh, quiz quite a while ago, so. Um, and then it actually, uh, India's gone. India was absolutely ripped off the globe. And other than that, Indonesia actually looks like it got a bit larger because the water levels went down. Same with China has a bit more land. And... Ooh, these seas are very small now. Where is England? <laughs> I just realized... Oh, England is actually connected to Europe now because of the water level going down. Jeez, Let's see if the water level goes back up if we give it a few more years. And they didn't. That is gone now, forever. So that's interesting. The Great Lakes are pretty much completely dried up. There's no life left. Um, we can try to fix this though. Organics don't actually do anything yet, but we can add more wa- Yeah, uh, we, yeah, that didn't really do anything uh, good. But um, I think the real point here is that 
You should never throw the moon at the earth, especially on a grazing shot. Australia? Australia is actually very large now. Comparable to the size of China. Um. Yeah. So, that was a fun one. Poor Africa. Now, it used to look... I, I don't even know what to describe it as. But now it looks kind of like a wrench. Y you see it? Or a hammer? Or a golf club? Let's play. Name things that crater looks like. <laughs> Only on my channel. Only on my channel. Okay, so let's just finish off Earth with a few more hits. Because Earth enjoys being hit by large objects that are going to absolutely destroy it. Ba ba da. Ba ba da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ba da da. And Earth now is thoroughly uh, destroyed. The little bits are falling down. Poor Mexico got hit. There is no ocean now. The ground is beginning to crack open. Lava is beginning to... Mag Actually, once a spewster is considered lava. So, lava is beginning to spew through the cracks. We can see the orange. Now it's getting really bad. <laughs> we speed things up a little bit. Oh, it actually did not get hot enough to just go full out. Sure, there are lava like lakes all around, but it's not that bad. It could be worse, guys. <laughs> it could definitely be worse. So now let's play around a bit with the Rosh limit as I promised earlier. Earth is going to be destroyed in this uh, episode rather thoroughly. Let's just do the Earth and Moon, because the Moon is pretty much the perfect size to destroy Earth. Just small enough, and just large enough to do a lot of damage, but not actually like, destroy everything. But we can see the Rosh Limit is ripping the Moon apart, causing a ring to form around Earth. We have done this in the past. Surprisingly enough, it doesn't really affect Earth the uh, particles hitting it. I actually don't see any damage. That may be because the particles aren't really hitting and just going around in a ring. Let's see if we delete the moon. Oh, jeez. I can undo that, but it won't get the moon back orbiting it. Bye, moon. It was nice knowing you. Actually, the Earth is now forming a ring out of these particles. It's not a very pretty ring. And now they've all been flung away, and Earth is freezing. Yeah. So it's like the day after tomorrow. Is that the movie where everything just freezes, and like, they basically go, get a little bit ridiculous in trying to explain global uh, climate change. <laughs> yeah. That 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 movie could have been a, a slight amount more accurate, but, you know, they tried. They tried. Let's use Mercury and let's get really close. I mean, like, stupid close. Okay, maybe not that close. We'll, we'll try that again. Mercury will be a safe distance away. And Mercury's enough to actually start affecting Earth, I think. Nope. Earth does not care. Earth is being slightly moved. But it's not actually being... I think this would be pretty scary to see if you were, like, on Earth. Let's go onto Earth on the night side and see what this looks like. So looking up into the night sky, you just see this. Imagine looking up and seeing this. You would think you were going to die. And you probably... Oh, okay. So that would be the scary part right there. Seeing that. 
that's definitely the part that would be worrying. Um, sure, that trail's pretty bad, but that? No. You don't- I don't care what the occasion is, you don't want to see that. And let's see the pieces fall down on us. I don't think they are actually- oh yeah! Here they are! Oh my! <laughs> and this looks really weird in first person mode. Seeing all the particles flying overhead. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Okay, so if you saw this in the morning, I really need to get the HTC Vive so that I can see this in 3D. But this would be absolutely horrific to see. Just look at how big the particles are, and it's right over you. Sure, horror games are bad, but something like that happening, knowing that humanity is about to be completely destroyed and it's gonna come around again right about oh I don't think it's actually going in front of us anymore because of the spin of the earth no it isn't but that was pretty interesting to see that from a uh, on earth perspective I haven't seen much of that before now let's delete it and so many particles. Actually, going on that, I wonder what it would look like with this in first person. Because I don't use first person very often. People tend to complain about it, but I think it's pretty cool at times. Let's quickly turn off trails. So remember, this is off of the surface of Earth, so... You just look up and see this. This slight amount laggy because of all the moons, but that'll get better in a second as the moons are destroyed. Now one of these, that one's actually going to hit us, I think. Oh, oh my. Okay, Earth has been hit. It's the end. The end is nigh. Much particles everywhere. I know people don't like first person, some people, but I, I think it can be pretty interesting at times. You just have to imagine it's you looking up into the sky. Look at all the, <laughs> look at all the stuff left over afterwards. It's pretty ridiculous. And Earth gets hit a few more times. And, oh, here we go. So here is an Earth versus Earth. So you'd actually have to be this close to actually get the Rosh limit to kick in. Which I don't think you can get any closer without um getting a bit ridiculous. I mean... They aren't even heating up. They're just being ripped apart because of gravity, which is pretty interesting. Maybe they'll do a bit of work so that this, uh, they do heat up and rip apart a little bit more than this. But it looks cool after all. Sorry about the noises in the background. Uh, rabbit being fed because he is a rabbit and if he doesn't eat, he will become a little rabbit skeleton. And then, my dogs may take advantage of that. So, to finish this off, let's just do Earth being ripped apart by Jupiter, because nothing better to uh, make you feel good than watching your planet be ripped apart. Okay, so uh, I need to slow this down or it'll go ridiculously fast. Let's keep an eye on that temperature. So about at this point, everyone would already be dead. This is hotter than an oven, so it wouldn't be very fun to uh, be on Earth right now. That's why there's no green left. Now the oceans are starting to evaporate. Uh, Maine is no longer alone. Maine is like part of Canada now. Um. 
we have well b Europe is now connected to America everywhere like the land bridge to Russia is is pretty serious here now there's just no water so everyone has a land bridge to each other and now we're heating up to the uh, melting point the rush limit is kicking in and earth is now being ripped apart being pulled into Jupiter we can see how much mass it actually loses here and it's actually not losing that much but this is only 14 hours a second so it would only take like a year for earth to lose most of its mass this uh way. actually no uh so 360 of these would be no not yet okay if we get it to one day in 360 seconds a year goes by so yeah, it's being ripped apart, but it, Earth will be alive for a long time at this rate. Jupiter is not really being affected by this at all. <laughs> Makes you feel small, doesn't it? Compared to something like Jupiter. But then, if you want to think like that, let's uh, just grab the sun. Actually, let's go bigger than the sun. Let's just go B.Y. Canis Majoris. Try not to crush us there. Yeah, now, now we're small, and if you think that's small, um, let's, let's grab something else for comparison. Let's just grab the Milky Way. Oh, wait, Andromeda. So, Andromeda. Um, Canis Majoris. Jupiter. And then Earth. And this actually has a chart mode where we can chart by mass. I don't know if this actually worked. Okay, so um oh here we go yeah so now it's in graph mode we've got the uh black hole at the center of the galaxy that's not even the entire galaxy then we've got vy canis majoris then we've got jupiter then we've got earth so now you are allowed to feel kind of small compared to the universe especially this black hole Okay guys, that was kind of fun to look at. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out. Um, tell your friends about this channel. Uh, anything really helps. I'm hoping to um, grow this channel a lot over the summer. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out because I'm going to have a lot of spare time. Also, watch out for my game. A lot of work being done on that. I do mention it every once in a while. And um, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I, I really do appreciate it and uh, watch out for the next video there is going to be a poll in the description of this video if you're interested in helping me out uh, just fill that out you don't actually have to type you just click a few boxes and click submit or something that will show you what everyone else is thinking it just helps me know what you guys want in the future so thank you